Hi everybody and welcome to this week's workshop. Um, we are going to be creating some textured type this week. So um, this video is sort of showing you some really, really basic things to do in the first part of the workshop and then we'll move on to the digital side of it um, later on in the video. So there's just a few things that I have gathered up here at the, at the table. First thing, I've got a drop cloth down. Um, I've been a bit careful with the drop cloth because you, you know, might get some textures underneath as well. So just, um, yeah, just if you're using a big drop cloth like this, then um, just make it as flat as possible. Um, the second thing I've got is a whole range of brushes here. Now you can see that I've got some sponges. I've got different widths of sponges. You can use a kitchen sponge. Don't you don't necessarily need these i just happen to have them um these can be a bit hit and miss anyway because they've got plastic inside them that can um, affect the sponge so sometimes this kitchen sponge is just fine i also have um this trusty sponge doesn't doesn't that look nice um but this has obviously been used in artworks before but it's great because it's got this texture on this side and then it's got, you know, this other softer texture on the other side. So these can be quite good. Sorry, it does look a bit manky. Um, the other thing that I've got is a range of different sorts of uh, sorts of brushes here. So you can see that I have um, different thicknesses because they can create different sorts of lines and different sorts of patterns. Um, and then I have a toothbrush as well, which is um, a little bit of a different, uh, will have a different look as well. Um, what I'm really after is to create a range of, a, a range of tones, so uh, monochromatic tones. So um, I'm using waterproof drawing ink and I have black acrylic paint. And obviously being waterproof, you need to look at how to clean brushes and things with that. Uh, acrylic is easy to wash with just water. And then I've got a simple graphite pencil. The other thing that I've gathered together here is a range of different papers. You can see this one right here is just the inside of a shopping bag. Um, it's a nice thick paper, bright white. Um, and then I have some brown paper and I've sort of crunched that up. So you can add some extra texture that way. Um, and then I have a whole bunch of toilet roll wrappers from Who Gives a Crap? These have some pretty cool little um, textures and stuff with them anyway. So you could even just scan parts of that. You could draw back into it. You could do all sorts of things with that. But these are pretty cool. You got white ones and you got black ones. So uh, anything that you find around the house, really, the inside of cereal boxes, the um, any any sort of wrappers or papers or anything like that, because each one, obviously, these ones are quite thin, so you can crunch them up and do things with them. You can rip them. So the the rips. Obviously, I mean, here's one that's already ripped, so you can create rips that can also um, add to the texture when you scan them. So there's, um, you know, all of that as well. And then, of course, I have just ordinary white copy paper as well. So I've just gathered together this whole range of things. And now um, I'm going to spread a few things out and then we will start to make a few different papers. Okay, so got a little bit of black paint here. Got my little water. And I'm just going to start with this big brush here. And I'm going to make this sort of pretty black. So I'm just going to grab that and just do some quick lines like this. You don't really need to do any more than that because what we've got here is the mixture between um, the blacker bits and these sort of nice streaks that are coming through here. That's the sort of stuff that you're after. Try to cover as much of the area as possible. Here you get the handle of the bag so you get a bit of a different texture in there as well. So you can just come across, whoops, bump the camera, sorry about that. Um, obviously this is some high tech production going on here today. Um, you don't want to go over it too much more than that um, so because we've got these really nice big black bits in here but you've got all the creases of the paper and everything so we're just going to toss that one aside for a little bit let that dry and we're going to do the same thing here with this brown bag as well and just use up all the paint and we've got that really cool texture in there so we'll pop that one aside as well and then we've got this lighter um, paper here. You can see in here there's no creases at all, but down here you've got 
quite a few. So let's just see what that looks like. I'm gonna really just come down there in those bits there, get some more paint on there. Try and cover up some of that. Um, you can add those bits of brush in. Sorry, I have to, I, I have to apologize about the bumping of the camera. I bought a special tripod and it's very bouncy. So, um, sorry about that. You might wanna even just add some little bits of the brush in there. Just have a play. That's the most important bit, to have a play and have some fun. Um, now with this, with the rest of this that's in here, I'm not gonna let that go to waste. I'm gonna grab some of this water and I'm gonna just dilute this down a little bit like this. And then I might grab some of the really, really white paper, the white copy paper here. Bring that down over here. And then I'm just gonna do some little wavy bits in there. Now, if you start to see these nice little lines come up, just grab another bit. I could just leave that as it is. I'm running out of room to put stuff. Um, but just maybe grab another little one and another little scrap of paper. If it's a bit watery, don't worry too much. I'm just going to grab one more bit of white paper here and just make those a bit bigger. So you can just get those sort of brush marks in. Um, now the other thing you might want to do is grab this one again that I made this other mark on and just, you know, just experiment and play with the different edges of the brush. You end up with these sort of dots like that so if you end up sort of just playing with these sorts of areas and then you go oh yeah I like that effect that's going on there then you might want to grab another piece of paper and if I decide that I want that I just want to add another little bit of the diluted acrylic paint down into there but just sort of test it first a little bit and then grab another piece of the white paper Oh. Oops. <laughs> and you know, after you scan it, you can then zero in. So if you've got marks like this in the middle of it, oh, sorry, it doesn't matter. Just, um, you know, you can even add some bits like that in different sections. Ooh, that's cool. Give that a go. So, yeah. There you go, you've got a few. I'm just gonna continue on. Um, now what I'm gonna do is grab one of these sponges and I am going to mix it up a little bit and add some of this ink. Now this ink is, um, I'm just gonna whack it straight in there in the same little tub and close that up. And then I'm gonna grab this And again, I just want to do a little bit of testing. And just with the brush. So, you know, you can see when you start with the, when it's it's got a lot of ink in it, it's gonna just be black. So, you know, that's one thing that um, is probably not as effective. You want to get these sorts of sponge marks on it. So it's good to test first on a piece of paper that's probably not as precious. And then you can kind of get in there and get your sponge work. And just coming in and having a little experiment. You might even want to change the direction of some of it. And like that. Okay, now, um, before when I created this big black mark with the ink, um, this paper got really soggy, which was quite nice. So then what I did is I ripped it. So then you have this really nice edge in there between this really dark black and the white of the, of the paper structure. So, you know, that can be another thing too. While it's still wet, 
just um, just ripping it up a little bit to get those sorts of edges. You know, because that little bit there you can scan and um, you can you can digitally sort of manipulate those to create all kinds of different things, which is um, very fun. Just like that. So keep that and scan that in later. Now the other thing that I wanted to do just while I have this ink is um, get my toothbrush out and I'm just gonna dip it in some water and then get it into this ink here that I've got. And then just